watching my page Say they miss what I gave them I'm doing fine now I feel amazing I'm out of their range Keep them guessing when they ask about us Don't give them no time That's how we stay up How we up but you stay down Real from the ad about to pay out Spend the time wind down What is take out And when I'm in the walls You feel it in your bones Good morning, guys. Welcome to a new weekly vlog. If this is your very first time here, my name is Maya. So, y'all, um, we are, first of all, it's Wednesday. It's Wednesday morning. And I just got done making breakfast. Amira literally just left for school about 20 minutes ago. So, we're off to kind of an early start this morning. We don't have that much to do today. It's really just a chill type of day. I need to go to Target today because I want to get a new planner and notebook for the beginning of the year. Um, I always switch them out at the beginning of the year so that it kind of can be the same vibe all year and I can start planning and doing my calendar and everything like that. I also have a few other things that I need to get at Target today as well. And then we're probably just going to come back home and kick it, you guys. Um, I am preparing, I'm so mad because I wanted to do my meal prep, right, for the week. But yesterday, I scheduled an appointment for tomorrow for my teeth. So, in last vlog, I talked to you guys about, um, how we were, or how I was planning to go the distance with my teeth. I had a dentist appointment last week where he kind of pretty much told me the game plan. And step number one is a root canal. So, I'm getting a root canal, um, on this side tomorrow. I think they said it's tooth number 14, so it's on this side, and it's at the top. But, I couldn't do my meal prep because I won't be able to eat that food for at least, like, three days after <laughs> the root canal. So, I had to freeze, like, my chicken and stuff because I went to the grocery store on Monday. Um, but anyway, child, nobody cares. <laughs> and before we get deep into the vlog, I'm gonna let you guys know... Your girl will not be posting next week on Christmas Eve. <laughs> I am taking that week off to be with my baby and my mom who is coming in town for Christmas and New Year's. And I'm going to take those couple of weeks to really reset myself. Y'all know how I talk about, or I've talked about before, how I feel like isolation really leads to transformation. I really want to take the last two weeks of the year to relax, to reflect, to talk a lot to God because I want to leave everything that I went through this year in this year. Now let's be honest, January 1st does not mean that suddenly everything is different, everything has changed, problems are no longer there, Ooh, I'm very aware of that. However, mindset wise, I would love to leave it in this year. A lot of the heaviness it's my prayer to leave it in this year. Um, these past two years for me have been, they've been crazy. A lot of ups and a lot of downs, but at least I'm not pregnant. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just had to say that, but it's true. At least I didn't get pregnant. However, it's just been a lot of ups and downs and um, it could always be worse, but I'm just very grateful for where I am now in the new season that I'm going into. So these last two weeks of the year, I'm about to allow myself to relax and not do too much to give my mind and my emotions and everything the space and the time to do some healing, some reflecting and all of that um, so that I'm ready to go top of the year. So I just felt the need to slow down um, these last couple of weeks. And I'm excited. So the next vlog that you guys will see will be on New Year's Eve. I already know what that's going to be. I just already know what it's going to be. So I'm going to see y'all then. Um, and I may and may not come up with a Wednesday video between now and then too. So maybe look for that. But next Sunday, we ain't. We're taking off. Enjoy your holiday. Enjoy your Christmas with your family. Because that's what I plan on doing as well. I tell myself that breakfast time is the only time that I'm really able to like mindlessly scroll on TikTok. So I'm about to do that while I finish my breakfast. And then I'll see y'all upstairs and we're going to get ready to get out of here and go to Target. All right, y'all. So we are upstairs. I'm about to do a quick, a very, very quick face. And honestly, I'm not even going to call it a face because this time I really do want to do <laughs> something really quick just to like even out my skin tone, you know? 
because I ain't gonna lie to y'all, we just going to Target. <laughs> but I just felt like this is a good time to do like a quick little basic babe type of type of look because this is something that I want to perfect for myself um, for 2024. Just like a go-to actually simple makeup look versus <laughs> when I say I'm gonna do a um, quick makeup look, it ends up being a full, full face. So this time I'm challenging myself for it to actually be a super quick, like, you know, thing. Obviously I'm just doing my brows like I usually do. I can't say that I have like a quick way to really execute my brows, especially since I feel like they need so much attention being that they're kind of short and you know, whatever. I know one thing I was looking at some older photos of me and I realized that my, I used to like do my brows a little bit thicker than I've been doing them now. And I prefer the thicker brows. So I wanna start working on really sculpting them the way I want to since I told y'all I punked out on the uh, microblading. But I still might get it done. Just, it's just not on my to-do list at the moment. Cause that's really gonna slice my getting ready time in half because I won't have to do my brows. So one thing I am about to use is my brow pomade from Benefit real quick. Just to like define some of my brow strokes and also to define the shape of my brows as well. So y'all, last night was one of those nights for me. Uh, remember last week, we talk, I kind of talked to you guys about how I had been experiencing some loneliness this season just from being away from family and friends from back home. And this kind of being my first time um, experiencing that since last year I was, you know, with someone. And last night was one of them nights for me. I told Amir, I was like, I don't know, these days I'm just, I'm usually cool with her going to her dad's, which I am. But these days I'm like, okay, so when are you coming home? <laughs> and last night was definitely one of those moments for me. Amira had a band concert to last night. Her dad and you know, the whole family, they came to the concert and she left with them because it was her night with them and uh, that was weird for me because I'm always used to, you know, her leaving with me from things like that. So that already was weird. And then I came home and it was just me and I was like, this is awkward. Um, so I was done eating by that time because I'm back intermittent fasting. So I just like got some tea and I went to the loft area and I, um, Turn on some Christmas movies. I think I watched Something at Tiffany's, which is a movie on Prime, which was good. And then I watched one of my favorite holiday romance movies, which is The Holiday. So I did that until she got home. And then I hung out with her a little bit. And then I went to bed. So this season was definitely an adjustment for me. Next season, if I don't, you know, not in a relationship or anything, it'll happen again. But I'm happy I had this season to you know experience that even though it's not my my favorite thing to experience it's it's just an adjustment so the brows are browing <laughs> and i'm about to do a very very quick face thing whatever i'm not gonna do anything on my um i'm not gonna do anything on my lids at all i'm just going to brush out my lashes and call it a day. Y'all, my lash retention is insane. The girl told me, the girl who does my lashes, she was like, your retention is crazy. Like you're barely losing any lashes. And I haven't y'all, it's been three weeks. And my lashes are still like, <laughs> they're still heavy on being there. So since I am gonna go in with some kind of skin something, I'm gonna put a little bit of primer, but mostly underneath my eyes because that's kind of where I want to put the product. I am going to use my Danessa Merrick's Yummy Skin. So many girls say they use this as a primer, but I have, I think I have a new one somewhere. Oops, sorry y'all. Just to kind of even out the skin tone and then they put foundation on over it. But I've always loved it as just the skin anyway. So what I'm gonna do is just go underneath my eyes to even out. Y'all see the even? evenness starting to happen 
and do a little bit at the bottom around my mouth. And that's really the only places that I feel like I need to focus. I'm only doing half the face so you guys can kind of see the before and after. I'm gonna do a couple of wipes in the forehead area, but not much. But I just want you guys to see how this really evens, evens the tone. So this is with it, and this is without it. And I like that this is not like liquid. You can literally just put a brush in it and then just wipe it on your face and buff it out. Similar to like just a skin tint is what it gives me. It gives me like natural skin tint vibes. So it's like you still can see your skin through it. It's not like a full foundation. It's like a very light coverage foundation, I guess. I really want this to give like true no makeup makeup look. So with that being said, I could go in with a concealer. Could, but I don't think it's necessary, you know? We could do just like a simple literal dot there. Like that's it. Like I feel like that's all we need to eliminate some of the, you know, sculpting and all of those things. So, and then we'll just blend this out. Cause the thing is, I don't like looking like an egg. <laughs> I feel like when you just go in with foundation or you just go in with a skin tint or whatever, it's just flat even more flat than if you didn't have makeup on at all because it literally just takes away all the shadows of the face. So that's why even when I do something super easy and simple, I still like to go in with some kind of concealer or something lighter and then something darker on the face to still have the, that dimension. And then it also helps if you go in with a concealer that is, you know, more, what's the word? skin like you know there are ones that are more full coverage and there's one that's more like skin like i feel like that can make the difference with how you want to look um i'm just going in with a translucent powder in the lighter areas or the areas that i want to be lighter um i'm putting that where i put that concealer but i'm also gonna put it in the other places where i typically put concealer like over my lip and my chin here because even though I didn't put concealer there, it can still brighten it up a little bit, having that lighter powder, you know? And then the rest of the face, I'm going to go in with my uh, skin tone powder. Depending on how matte you want to be, you can use like a, you know, like one of these. Or you can just use a powder brush, which is what I'm going to do, just to get rid of the sheen, you know? How many products are we in, not including the brows? Two, right? Okay, so next I'm just gonna do a um, a bronzer. Cause I already told you guys like I wanted to do like a lighter one, which is the concealer and then a bronzer to kind of make it deeper in the areas where I want it to be deeper. So I'm going in with my LYS bronzer. This is in strength and just bronze in the areas where I need a deeper shade, which is my cheekbones or underneath my cheekbones and then around the perimeter. The nose is not necessary, but I'm gonna do it real quick. <laughs> and also, if you like wanna have something on your brows, or on your, if you just wanna have something on your lids, it's a good time to just like swipe some um, bronzer, cause it's just very easy to just keep going with it since you already got it out. All right y'all, so it's really, I really don't feel like I need much else. Um, I'm gonna do a highlighter just to bring me to life and then that's gonna be it, y'all. I feel like depending on a person, you can either do highlighter or blush. If you're a blush girl, then maybe, maybe that will be your finishing touch, but I just like a good highlighter. Cause I feel like highlighter gives the illusion that you have on maybe a little bit more, you did a little bit more than you actually did. And I just like the illusion of that. All right, y'all, that's the face, very quick and simple. I think I actually did it this time, where it's not so much, <laughs> where it's not a complete, complete full face, but you still get, you know, you still get the effects of having a little bit of makeup on. Um, I wanna say no makeup, makeup, but I think the highlighter is what changes that. So had I not put on highlighter, I think it would give more like, you know, no makeup, makeup look, um, but, to me, it still gives that with the highlighter, but I can see why somebody wouldn't agree. 
<laughs> so anyway, y'all, I am about to go ahead and get dressed. I'm gonna see y'all downstairs um, after I get dressed so we can head to Target. control to really like slick it um it's just normal regular make it regular today and i feel beautiful so let's go <laughs> all right y'all so we are on our way to target y'all remember last week when we were talking about i was in the car and i was talking about modesty and how i feel convicted with my level of modesty right maybe what i said was not very clear on what i meant people love to be the police some people um with me saying that i just could see especially some of the comments i got i could just see in the future i decide to put on a sexy dress and they're like oh but what you what about what you said i just want to clear something up by no means do i feel like i can't dress sexy not at all i'm a grown woman 34 years old I, I, that's not a belief of mine <laughs> what I was saying in that conversation and if you missed that conversation I'll tag that um, video here for you guys what I was saying is that with my personal conviction of my modesty it's really just about my how I show my breast recently I still believe that you can be a beautiful sexy woman and wear sexy clothing but my switch is gonna be classing that up making it more elegant make it more of a sexy elevate classy type of vibe versus this <laughs> i'm not comfortable with showing myself like that anymore and like i said though that was what a month and a half ago two months ago change starts the moment you decide to change that ain't no judgment towards anyone else who might do that because obviously that was just me very recently um so ain't no judgment like i said in that conversation some people are convicted of certain things and some people are not and for me that's always been a conviction i've been getting comments about that from my mom and my sister forever just as far as my modesty and what i wear and when it's appropriate to wear certain things like I've always been getting lectured about that my whole life um and I've never cared <laughs> only because I, 
I cared, meaning God convicting me to care. You know what I'm saying? But it was always like, I didn't want to care. So it was always like, no, it's fine, girl. It's fine. I understand y'all feel that way, but I ain't got to be like you type of thing. And I feel that same way about getting comments here or, you know, okay, hold up. Let me make this. Can I get in here? Oh, oh, oh. Yep, I made it. Okay. But I just want to clear it up because I don't have a problem with showing my midriff. I don't that's going to continue to happen. Like, I wear crop tops. I'm cool with that. Maybe not in this weather, but I wear the crop tops. Um, I'm not even saying I'm not going to ever wear cleavage out. I am just focused right now on that elevated everyday vibe, but then also just elevated in general, but more of a classy, elegant, timeless type of vibe, um, which I feel that aesthetic, how I want to present myself to the world. You know what I'm saying? Um, and for me personally... Having my breasts hanging out like I did two months ago and the dresses that I pre I recently purchased is not in alignment with that, but also because of the conviction I've already always had. So for my comment police, <laughs> I'm stepping into a new era. I'm most definitely gonna bring the sexy, but the difference now for me um, intentionally is I'm going to class it up. I personally feel like I, someone commented and she was like, I think it takes more confidence to be, you know, sexy in a classy way than someone who might just like have your breasts out all the time, like and showing skin and booty as sexy. And I totally agree with that. It takes more, maybe not necessarily more confidence, but it takes more internal confidence to know you don't need that to feel sexy. And I'm working on building. Not that I don't have that confidence, but it could be better. I'm working on building that confidence in um, my style, how I present myself, and suddenly I don't feel like I need to show all of that to be sexy, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, that's another thing, y'all. If you want to change something about yourself or your vibes or your beliefs or whatever, it can happen in that moment. Forget anyone else who says, but you had said this, but you had said that, but you was just doing this and you should just doing that. Yeah. Last week, yeah, last month, yeah, last year, that was me then, and this is me now. So I feel like it's important for us to adopt that mindset because other people's comfort with who you were or where you were will keep you right there <laughs> and keep you from evolving. Because, um, and I'm not just talking about you guys, I'm talking about people in your life in general, your family, your friends, your platform, your whatever. If they're not comfortable with this new version of you it can keep you in that old version and and we never want to be stagnant right growth is good so whatever that growth might look like for you so let's hop in here i hope that cleared up what i was trying to say Child, i don't know anyway i'll edit it <laughs> um let's go in target and see what they got real quick the first place i'm headed for is the uh planners so let's see what kind of planners they got so i also need to find a um visa gift card for Amira y'all that is all she wants for Christmas for real I got her a few things but she just wants money so that she can buy clothes <laughs> okay they got this big 2024 one I like the larger ones and I especially like the ones with the spiral because it's easier to open it and pull it back okay let me see what this looks like I've had one like this before I like that this one has more space to write stuff down Y'all yeah, probably can't see that, but I like that it has more space. I always got to check to see what's in the back, too. It's got a folder in here. I like that. This might be the one. Okay, it's got notes in the back. This is it. This is the one. Um, I just recently purchased a... What am I trying to say? I just recently purchased a notebook for writing. So I don't know if I really need one, but I always have one specifically for content planning. So... There's a couple down here. Got this small one. It says notes. So I like this one too, y'all. I love the aesthetic of this one, like with the gold here and just the linen. But I don't like that it doesn't have a spiral. I'm a sucker for a spiral because I like to like flip it over, you know? I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy about that, unfortunately. But I would pick this one if it had spirals. Also, I'm getting a mirror a journal probably for Christmas because I've been talking to her about how important it is to get your thoughts out even if you don't want to talk so she's actually expecting that so hopefully she'll like that I'm thinking about also getting this wall calendar 
They have a wall calendar that I can actually put in my room or my bathroom for some of the personal goals that I have, you know, that's not work related. I like this. I might get this too and put this up in my like personal space upstairs. So yeah, I bought way more than I thought I was gonna buy. I got some Christmas stuff for Amira and all my um, stuff for wrapping my gifts. So it's fine. So I think I'm almost officially done with my Christmas shopping. The only thing I think I need to get is something for my mom. And I think we're done. So um, I just came to downtown Lawrenceville and I'm about to see what they have to eat for me. I looked up one place, it said like it was a Cuban tapas place. So I might try that out. So yeah, I think I'm gonna try that place out and then um, yeah, I just realized I parked in a handicapped spot. I literally just realized that. I'm gonna have to go move. Okay, I think it's a false alarm. It says handicap and then underneath it, it says Sunday only. Does that mean that I can park there right now? Cause it's Wednesday. <laughs> I've actually never seen that before where it says it's Sunday only. Anyway, I think we're okay. I think we are good. So yeah, I'm gonna try this one spot real quick and Let's see what they got. Hopefully the food is good. I just felt like going and buy something so I ain't got to get home and make no salads or nothing, child. I did not feel like it. And I'm also tired of ordering in, so let's see what they got. Hello. I just want... You want a bar or a thing? Um, I'll just go to the bar. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. You want a bad one? Well, baby, I'm as bad as they come. Said you want a hot one. Yeah, yeah. you with the hottest under the sun. But be careful what you wish for. Make you eat your words. If I'm more than what you bargain for, fun to flirt. But promise. What's up, my loves? Happy Thursday. So. Um, y'all, yesterday I thought that I was gonna get up with you guys when I got home, but I started to not feel very well and I got really, really sleepy. So I got into bed. Let me turn this fan off because I'm freezing. I got into bed. No, I didn't get into bed. I got on the couch and I slept for like an hour and a half, two hours. I was knocked out. UPS had brought me a package and rung the doorbell. Y'all, my heart almost jumped out of my chest. <laughs> but really yesterday when I got home, I really wanted to just, um, I wanted to wrap Christmas gifts, but it just, it wasn't in me. So we're gonna do it now. It is, I need to, I need to remember to turn up this, um, this alarm clock. It's 10.30, 10.32. Uh, my appointment for my root canal is at one. So we're just really chilling today because <laughs> I know when I get back, it's gonna be a thing. I got my wrapping paper from Target. Usually every year I'll go for something that's like a natural cardboard looking and that was this one. I like this one. I don't know if you guys can see it but it's darker than what it looks like on camera. Then I got a gold glitter and then like this white one with a gold um, little pattern on it. But anyway, I am about to wrap the things for Amira that I already have. She has two more gifts coming. One of them I just purchased the other day. Ooh, another one I need to order. I've been hiding all her stuff um, in my closet. <laughs> um, her Christmas list this year was very specific with what she wanted. So yeah, it was just very, very specific. I need to go see if I can find like some small boxes to put stuff in so that I can wrap them and they actually look like something. But yeah, I'm about to wrap some things real quick and then, um, I'll probably eat something before we head to get this tooth fixed. What's so crazy is this tooth has not been giving me any problems recently, but I could, you know, feel it when they had me bite down at the dentist. But y'all, last night it was killing me, killing me. So I was like, okay, Lord, this is a sign that it's good that I'm getting this handled. <laughs>
so I am about to make myself a sandwich real quick so that I can head out of here. It's 12.05 and I need to be out of here. Um, I'm gonna say 12.20, so if I take about 10 minutes to make a sandwich, eat it real quick, and then brush my teeth. I wanna I always, whenever I'm about to get my teeth looked at, I always like to make sure my teeth are brushed. <laughs> Because I know if I was a dentist and people walk in and they didn't brush their teeth and they got food stuck all in their teeth and I'm all in their mouth and they brush thing, I'd be mad. <laughs> so I always like to brush my teeth beforehand. But y'all, I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm always scared for, um, for getting any tooth work done. I don't, I don't like it. I don't think any of us can say we like it, of course, but... I'm about to toast this uh, sandwich, so. It's been so long since I've had a root canal. It's been a really long time. And I just remember how uncomfortable I was last time. So I'm just not looking forward to it. Like, I'm trying to hold back tears. Like, I have that kind of fear. I don't like it. I really don't, but I know that um, it needs to be handled, especially since I was just having pain last night. So, you know, it is, it is what it is, but I'm gonna be all right. Obviously, I know that I'm just, I just don't like people being all up in my mouth like that. <laughs> I just do not like it. I'm trying to eat something that I can bite into because obviously I won't be able to bite down on anything. Tonight I'll probably have to make myself some like broth or noodles or something like that. I'm trying to have me a last little hurrah right now with my little sandwich, my little toasted sandwich. <laughs> yeah, y'all, I'm um, sitting here making a sandwich. I'm not talking very much, y'all, because I really am. I really am scared, but also I'm not feeling too well. Um, I know I'm putting cheese on this sandwich for y'all. I think I'm lactose intolerant. Um, I think I'm fine when I have like a slice of cheese or something, but when I have like a large amount of cheese, which I did yesterday, um, I've noticed a pattern of me feeling extremely sick and just like not feeling well, like having a severe stomach ache. It's that, but then also I've just been feeling kind of off the past couple days. Like, I'm getting chills and I don't know what's going on, child. I know that a lot of people are getting sick right now, so I'm just hoping that I'm not getting sick. All right, y'all, so I'm about to go ahead and eat this real quick, and then we're gonna um, head out. <sighs> I'm probably gonna be looking crazy afterwards, so I don't know if y'all gonna see a sister, but we gonna see. Um, just real quick, I have one. Um, I'm gonna pull y'all over here real quick. We're super casual, but elevated per I'm trying to keep doing that. So I was finna just put on a sweatshirt set and call it a day. But I didn't want to get too hot. So um, this is a top that's part of a set that's from H&M. So this is a top from H&M. Pants are from Shein. Um, yeah, this is the vibe. I'm going to put on my um, coach bag. And oh, wish me luck, y'all. Pray for me, even though y'all don't see this once it's over. Good job. <laughs> hey, y'all. So we are back from the dentist and I made it <laughs> y'all was being so dramatic but I'm good it went fine it's just been a very long time since I've had a root canal and I know I sound weird y'all so I'm gonna show y'all real quick and then we gonna pull it back up so <laughs> um I'm <laughs> sorry I haven't looked at myself so I got a little shock jump scare <laughs> okay we're numb on this side, obviously, I can't like move this side. We're fine over here. This side is done. So this is what it looked like when I tried to rub my lips together. <laughs> Child, let's cover this back up. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> I'm happy that I got it done. It um, I was there for about an hour, almost two hours. It didn't take too long at all. I'm still numb, obviously, but they said the numbing will go away. It's 3:44, probably around five. So I gotta take a mirror to her dad's. I just stopped and bought myself some Advil so that I can pop these while I'm in the car taking a mirror because I'm sure I'm going to come home, probably be in pain and probably lay down for the rest of the day. Revlon just sent me a cute little um, package. I already put the box under the tree. Hold up, let me show y'all so you can get the whole vibe. Yeah, it came in this really cute pink Revlon box down there. And let's walk back over here. This is what was in it. So... They have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, twelve holiday lips, and then six different eyes, eye colors. It says Color Stay Multiplayer. Can y'all see that? Liquid Glide Eye Pencil. So it has a brush on this side, and then the pencil on that side. I'm gonna definitely be playing with those next week. 
I want to do like a reel or something on it. So yeah, definitely appreciate that gift. Shout out to Revlon. And they also gave us a sweatshirt. Hold up. Here it is. A sweatshirt. I'm probably about to go and throw this on <laughs> with some leggings and get real chill. Because the way I'm feeling right now, this just got to go. So yeah, y'all. This is probably going to be the last y'all see of me tonight. Prayerfully tomorrow, we're feeling back to normal and we're good. And we can have a full day and do some things I need to do. So I love y'all. I'll see you tomorrow. to like create like content 
I have been like the past few days just starting to strategize like my content for 2024. <laughs> like writing down the vibes, writing down content ideas and all of these things and how I'm gonna change and what I'm gonna do come January 1st, January 2nd, right? All of these things I've been writing down. And I was like, okay, these next two weeks, I'm gonna take off. I'm already taking off of YouTube. I'm gonna just chill, take off from my other socials and literally just, you know, try to reset and everything. And while I'm still in that mindset and I still plan on resetting, um, God <laughs> has literally been giving me so many messages, social media posts, things on TV, just all types of stuff that has been telling me over and over, do not try to wait to the perfect time. So like he has literally been screaming at me. If there's an equivalent to Jesus screaming at you, it's this. <laughs> like I feel like I know that he's trying to tell me, look, you already have so much that I've already given you and that he continues to remind me that I have not, I'm not gonna say not been a good steward of it, but I haven't taken full advantage of the position that he's already brought me towards. I've had a lot of prayers of God, you know, growing my platform and helping me to get better and grow and get to that next level. And another message that I feel like I continue to get is, that I have not taken full advantage of where he's already brought me. So to use what I already have, what he's already blessed me with to get that, to that next step, if that makes sense, versus just thinking, oh, it's just gonna happen. God's gonna open that door. I don't have to do anything extra and I'm just gonna be there. He's been telling you like, that's not the case. I need you to be a full good steward of everything that I've already blessed you with we gonna make it do what it do. And also, don't wait <laughs> until January 1st. I say all of that just to say that um, today I wasn't going to create that content, but I did. And I'm very, very proud of myself for doing that. Y'all, I have been living, living in this sweatshirt since I got it yesterday. It is so freaking comfortable. So comfortable. <laughs> like today, I gotta say I changed my clothes at least like seven to eight times with all the content I filmed today. And in between, I just kept throwing this on. <laughs> Cause it's so comfortable. Ooh, I'm gonna get a really good clean. Oh, another thing y'all, I did my makeup in the sun today. <laughs> um, that post probably will not be up by the time this video goes up, but look for it in the next couple of weeks. Maya, why do you keep not pulling your hair back? Sis, what? Maya, why do you have a white towel to wipe off your face? Bruh, get it together. I loved doing my makeup in the sun today. And when I tell y'all, when I took photos today and I look back at them, no editing, zero, no editing. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna have to move my vanity or do something to make this like, the norm for me because I loved, I loved it. Obviously we know natural light just does something that artificial light does not, but the blend was on point. Just everything was just so, it was just so beautiful today. So I'm definitely gonna be seeing how I can do that more often because it was a vibe. I loved, loved how my makeup turned out today. Okay, I got my, Serum now. I'm just gonna do moisturizer. I'm not gonna do too many steps tonight. I already showered earlier, um, just like a few hours ago. It was part of my content. So, but I wanna put my night cream on. I'm not going to bed yet. You know, I'll put my night cream on right before bed. I don't need to do that. But yeah, y'all, it was a great day. I'm really happy and proud of myself for. Um, obeying God and doing what he's been telling me to do because as, as a Christian woman especially if any of you guys a lot of you guys are Christians but you know what I'm saying when you get message after message after message of the exact same thing um 
it's never coincidence. That's it's the big man upstairs. I know that because it's always in in direct response to prayers that I have, what I'm concerned about, you know, all of those things. And I just can't, I couldn't ignore it. Um, though I didn't feel like I was ready. <laughs> like I felt like I wanted to wait until the top of 2024 to start posting this type of thing or, you know, to just completely like do my thing, you know? But I saw TikTok last night and it was loud. It was loud. And it was accompanied with some other some other messages that God had already sent to, in my way, but I was ignoring it. <laughs> I was like, Lord, it's fine. We just gonna wait till January first. <laughs> but it was loud, and pretty much the guy was just saying that everything that God had already been screaming at me the last few weeks, you already know what to do. You already have the means to do what you need to do. I've already given you so much. Be a good steward of what you already have. The time is now. And I was just like, all right, Jesus. I hear you, brother. All right. <laughs> so I'm about to go ahead and put on some pajamas really quick so I can go downstairs, grab my stuff, and come back upstairs and enjoy myself. Um, so I'm gonna see y'all in the loft area in a second. Say it again, say it again You're saying you're sorry, so say it again Only you can make my world go black Y'all, I am legit say so happy that I have the mind to do this kind of stuff on a Friday night instead of, on one hand, going out and doing stuff I don't need to be doing. Come on, why you acting like you don't want to light this candle? You finna run an hour or what? Oh, I don't feel like going downstairs to get my other lighter. Them little electric lighters I was using, y'all, suck. I think it's just the brand that I ordered. Light it, light it, light it, light it. Hey, and it's lit. <laughs> but yeah, y'all, I'm so happy that I have the, what was I saying? I, I'm so happy that I have the mind to do this kind of stuff on a Friday night instead of, like I said, going out and doing stuff I don't need to be doing or doing things that I don't need to be doing in general. Like right now, I really want to send some mean texts to some people. <laughs> but we're occupying our time with your cootery boards and wine, baby. It's not going to happen, okay? It's not going to happen. The devil can't have me, okay? <laughs> he cannot have me and I'm good. But I am grateful because Maya, a few years ago, being in the position that I'm in, going through the situation I just went through, baby. We wouldn't be sitting here having charcuterie, watching movies in cute pajamas. <laughs> We'd be trying to get into something else or under someone else, or even just trying to, you know, like I said, send them messages, which are not gonna get sent. So anyway, that's so beside the point, but, Y'all know I just be talking. Anyway, um, I'm about to find something to watch. I'm thinking, y'all, the Eras tour. Y'all, I'm not no Swifty, Taylor Swift. But I did, I told Amira I wanted to go see the Eras tour. I like genuinely want to watch that. But I'm not sure if I want to actually see it, you know, like right now. <laughs> I might want to like actually chill and watch something else. So, so we'll see, maybe I can find something sci-fi or a holiday movie. Y'all, I love sci-fi movies. I love sci-fi movies, series, all of that. Um, and then superhero movies. And then I like romance and drama. So anyway, y'all, I'm not gonna keep talking your head off. We gonna hang out all day tomorrow. I don't know what I'm gonna do tomorrow. We're gonna find out and just see how I'm feeling in the morning. But yeah, I love y'all. And I'm gonna see y'all in the morning, sis. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> No, I ain't lying. I ain't hiding. I've been grinding, multiplying. I've been trying to get my weight up, staying prayed up, meditating and taking time away. You 
always posting up pictures Trying to look like you winning I'm writing rhymes in the kitchen Soaking in moments we live in, yeah You got the nerve to be on me Faking your life for the IG If you got my number, don't add me Cause baby, I'm on hiatus I'm on hiatus What's up, y'all? Good morning. Happy Saturday. So, y'all, um, obviously, it's Saturday morning, and we are about to get out of the house. Um, it's a more of a chill day, i.e. why we are in athleisure. <laughs> um, I literally sat in my bed. I woke up around 8 a.m., I want to say. Um, around 8, well, 7.30. And then I, like, tried to go back to sleep, and I couldn't. So I woke up around 8, and I laid in the bed from 8 to 9, one line, just trying to figure out what I wanted to do today. I really want to start doing things that's not just going out to eat and get a drink. You know, I do that so much. I've been doing it for years on my solo dates, and I really want to get into just seeing the city and doing different things, but then also finding fun stuff for Amira and I both to do. So earlier in the week, I had an idea to actually go to the ballet today, um, but that was before I booked my appointment to get my root canal. So I actually thought I was going to be down, like down bad <laughs> for the past like um, couple days, including today. So that's why I didn't book for the ballet. But then I also thought to myself, I think that's something I want to do with Amira, you know? Um, so I'm going to save that one obviously but um i was just looking up some stuff i can do today but y'all i have a lot of editing that i need to do like short form stuff reels and tiktoks that are filmed that i want to put together and um i kind of just wanted to walk today it doesn't feel that great today i think it's like in the 50s today so i was like what i can do is just get up go to the belt line maybe start at Pont city market because i do need to go to sephora because i need some um brow products benefit did just check up with me and see if i needed some brow stuff and i did tell them but i didn't tell them everything i needed unfortunately <laughs> so now i'm back down <laughs> so i need to go to sephora so i'm gonna start there and then just walk the belt line um i was online this morning looking up like what's along the belt line so maybe like hit a coffee shop or something have some quick breakfast and a coffee and just get some work done and just be outside like if i end up finding somewhere for lunch we can do that or just kind of let the day take me where it wants to take me. <laughs> and then tonight, I may and may not try to get out and go to dinner, take myself to dinner. And if so, I've been thinking about just not taking my camera, just getting like some phone footage while I'm out. So I can just really enjoy it and not have to worry about getting the angles and the vibes and things like that. And just um, kind of enjoy the evening by myself. Earlier in the week, I had got on the right, and I saw this like singles event that was tonight. But I was like, Maya, we're not ready for that kind of stuff yet. <laughs> because I feel like people that go to like singles events are people who are ready to like be in a relationship and like settle down and, and all these things. And with me just like getting divorced a couple months ago, I'm not been divorced, two months. I've been divorced for a little bit over two months, but I've been, you know, not in a relationship separated, whatever, since almost six months. <laughs> Let me see. July, August, July, August, September, October, November, December. It's been almost six months since I've been like, you know, just not in a relationship, I guess. But anyway, point is, I ain't ready to jump into nothing serious yet. I feel like I'm still doing the work and I'm still, you know, doing all that. I personally don't feel like I'm ready. Give me a couple more months and I might feel that way. Cause I don't like putting a timeline on that kind of stuff. I actually, last week in last week's vlog when I was doing my makeup, I put on the screen that I had cut a whole conversation. That's actually what it was about. Um, it was about just like how long we need to heal before we move on. But I was pretty much just saying that I feel like it depends on the situation. Everybody's situation is different. And you can never pass judgment on how long somebody chooses to wait to move on if you don't know their story and you can't know their story unless you was there with them during the whole thing you know so point is child i just i don't feel completely ready yet so i was like no 
I'm not gonna go on, I'm not gonna go to that singles event, even though like it felt like something cool to do, but I'm good. I'm totally good. God is filling that void for me right now. And I know that I gotta get myself together um, healing wise, which is happening. I'm noticing I need a little time in order to just move on. And so what's so crazy for me, y'all, is that I low key, like, yes, I know I got married and I like, I value. And I, this is the time for me to have this conversation because I already told myself and promised myself that come 2024, we not talk about this no more. <laughs> like, I'm still doing my processing, but I ain't bringing it up on my channel no more unless it's like very natural and something to say. But anyway, we were only together for a year and a half or so. Though we did get married, it just feels like he was a boyfriend. It doesn't feel like, you know, people who get divorced and they have a life together, they have children, they have access to Dubai, they have all these things. We didn't have none of that. It didn't feel like I was losing a life and starting over like some women who get divorced feel, you know? It just felt like a long-term relationship to me. I feel like the biggest thing for me though is processing the idea of the loss of something that I really desired, which was a marriage. Even though I know I have so many more, you know, opportunities for that now in the future in the right one, I feel like that's where my big thing is. So I say that to say, personally, I don't feel like I need that much time to get myself together, <laughs> but I'm not there yet, so. And in the past, I found myself not taking the time really to to process things. Now I want to do that so that I don't fall into the same situations moving forward. When I broke up with my ex, like before my marriage, y'all, I quite literally did not take no time. And I was with him for almost four years. So like <laughs> the next month I was back on the market dating and everything like that. And I didn't take any time to reflect and figure out like, did my trauma or my issues or whatever contribute to this, though I felt like he was the one in the wrong, where did I take the wrong turn in this situation? What was, what was my issues? You know what I'm saying? And how can I get better so that I don't ignore certain things or whatever moving forward? And I didn't take none of that time. And some of the same issues, major issues that that guy had, my ex-husband had. <laughs> And I was oblivious to it in the moment. And I felt like I could have avoided that had I took the correct time after that breakup to really reevaluate the situation, look at myself, look at my wrongs, look at my, you know, contribution. Even if it wasn't like I cheated or I wasn't contributing or whatever the case may be, it could just be that I, you know, didn't have the standards, so I allowed this or whatever. Just looking back and saying, what was Maya doing? <laughs> and I didn't do that. And now I want to give myself that privilege and that opportunity to process all the things so that moving forward, I don't blindly go into something that I didn't even realize was a problem for me. And it's one plus one equal two right now. I'm just trying to get y'all to get what I'm saying. And I'm also done talking about this. So <laughs> I'm about to wrap my edges and chill out for a second because I'm sweating. I need to cool down. I need to also charge my camera. I need to charge my phone. And then, because it's 10.35, I want to walk out the door at 11. I think that's enough time to just have a cute little afternoon on the back line. Uh, so yeah, um, I'm going to see y'all in a minute. Hey y'all, so we just pulled up at Pont City Market. Um, it took me a second to find a parking spot, but we found one. So I am about to find a place to use the bathroom because I have to go so freaking bad. And hopefully find like a little coffee shop or something to chill at for a little bit. Let me pay for parking really quick. So that's this parking situation is nuts. Like, it's crazy down here. I'm going to go ahead and turn my car off so people don't think I'm about to pull out. Signal down here. So I'm going to handle this when I get upstairs. I'm going to go pee. <laughs> and then um, I'm going to go use the bathroom. And then we'll figure out where we're going to go. Come on, child. So there's this little coffee shop that's in here. And I just ordered some coffee. I'm going to get that. And then I'm going to walk around a little bit. And we're going to see what else is over here to actually eat. 
because I'm super hungry. Like, I have not eaten today at all, purposely, because I'm just like, I'm going somewhere, so I'm going to go stuff my face <laughs> while I'm here. But it is a little breezy outside, so I'm trying to navigate to see what's close to go eat so that I don't have to be, like, walking, like, aimlessly. <laughs> Alright y'all, so I decided I'm gonna walk a little bit. It is cold out here, but there's enough people out here walking. So I'm gonna just walk a while and see if I can find something. I feel like I'm really like, hold up, I feel like this music is super loud. One second. Yeah, I just feel like I'm really fainting for myself today. <laughs> but I'm proud of myself for getting out because I low-key don't know where I'm going right now. But I definitely didn't want to just be walking or just be at home by myself today. So I'm happy that I got out. So I'm gonna just walk a little bit and find somewhere to go, stuff my face. So I've been walking for a while, y'all, and I'm tired of walking. So I'm gonna go to this place called Two Urban Licks. Um, they have a brunch menu. So I'm starving at this point, it's almost two o'clock. So I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna see what they got. And um, we'll eat and chill for a little bit and then walk a little bit. I think I'm like 15 minutes down from uh, Pond City Market where I started. So once I get down there, I can see if I want to get something else. So we shall see what they got at this Staying place. Afraid of meditating and taking time away. You always posting up pictures, trying to look like you winning. I'm writing rhymes in the kitchen, soaking in moments we live in, yeah. You got the nerve to be on me. Faking your life for the IG. If you got my number, don't add me. Cause baby, I'm on hiatus. I'm on hiatus. I'm on hiatus. Mm -hmm. I'm on hiatus. Uh -huh. Baby, don't check for me. Taking time out. because I messed up my makeup. We're gonna talk about it in a second. Let me get y'all set up real quick. All right, so we're here. <laughs> Long story short, I messed up my makeup. You probably can't tell completely because it's not really completely messed up, but I'm gonna be honest with y'all. Y'all know we keeps it real, okay? I got home and well, on my way home from Pond City Market, I was on FaceTime with my girlfriends. Let me turn this light on, hold up. So the whole time that I was on my way home from Pond City Market, I was on the phone with my girls from St. Louis who's on FaceTime. And so <laughs> I got a little emotional. It's fine. <laughs> but anytime that I'm crying and my under eyes get messed up, I was really good about it. I put like the tissue like in my, like right here and just allowed myself to cry and then it soaked it all up. So I don't have too many creases underneath the eye, but the concealer that always saves me is the Tom Edo Ultra Wear All Over Concealer from Lancome. Hello, can y'all see? There we go. This is a lifesaver. I'm going to add a little bit just right in the corners there. And this is shade 460 but I'm actually wearing 460 and 420. So I'm gonna mix them and I'm gonna let it sit for a second and then I'm gonna blend it out and set it. 
but this is literally the only concealer that I've ever found that fixes those creases without making like a line of demarcation underneath the eyes. Like when we cry, y'all know like it gets into the creases of our under eye. And then later on we're like, oh my God, I look terrible. And this is literally the only concealer I've ever come across that you can put on and blend out and set that doesn't create that line where it's obvious that something happened and you tried to fix it. <laughs> so um, love that. I'm gonna let that sit for a second. Um, but yeah, y'all. So tonight we're gonna go to City Winery, which is at um, Pond City Market where we just came from. I put on my story today and I asked you guys what places have live music in Atlanta on a Saturday night. And so Pond City Market kept coming up and I decided before I left to go over there and ask them. And they was like, we don't really have live music, you know, on Saturday nights regularly now but we do have a show tonight with Kenny Lattimore is gonna be there tonight and he is um doing like some covers as well as some of his own songs and I was like I'm in so I went to the bathroom and then I went to Will Call to get a ticket because online it looks like they have like like a waiting list and she was like you might as well get a ticket but then the bartender who I was talking to before he came up to me while I was waiting for a ticket and he was like what you doing I was like, try and get a ticket for tonight. And he was like, no, you're good. Come on. I was like, because I like to make sure I'm good. So he was like, yeah, you're good. So I walked away and he was like, here's my number, text me or whatever. Um, and I'll get you a seat for tonight for whatever show you want. And I was like, okay. <laughs> so I just texted him like 30 minutes ago and I was like, so let me know am i good before i get dressed and get ready and he was like yeah you're good i already got your seat and i was like okay um i asked him what should i do when i get there and he still hasn't responded but my thing is like i'm trying to trust it <laughs> when dudes be like you know i got you i'm gonna hook you up you know while it's all well and great like i want to make sure i'm gonna get in like, I'm not the girl trying to be, like, on the sidelines, like, oh, he said I was on the list. Like, I'm not trying to do that. So, let's hope and pray that our good bro gets us in. So, we'll see. But, yeah, y'all, this literally just fixed my problem. I have no lines of demarcation in Timor. So, we're going to keep it with this look. I don't think I'm going to put on an eye or anything like that. I think we're just going to go. I might just reinforce some things real quick. Yeah, y'all, I got super emotional with my friends. <laughs> I'm not gonna share everything because some things are just supposed to be left in the root chat. I just got emotional about some stuff with my friends and they helped me and pulled me about the whole child and I was crying, so let's just say that. <laughs> but I'm good now. I'm excited to be able to get out tonight and enjoy myself. I love Kenny Lattimore. I'm obviously 34 years old, so I know a little bit of something about it. Just a little, a little bit. <laughs> so I'm excited to enjoy some live music and chill out. More than likely, I won't take my camera, but I think I'm gonna take, obviously I'll have my phone, so I'll um, get a little bit of footage for you guys to end the vlog. But y'all, I think I'm about to put on a red lip. I feel like tonight is calling for a red lip. My favorite red lip right now is Boss Lady from The Lip Bar. I already know what I'm wearing tonight. And I'm just prepping my lips with some Vaseline real quick. But yeah, I already know what I'm wearing tonight. It's black and white. Oh, I love this color. It's not like super bright red, but it's not super dark. Let me stop trying to talk, job. But I want to like stand out. Oh, yes. <laughs> I want to like stand out tonight. I really feel confident and sexy and you know like that girl you know especially since i've been having some emotions today like i need that boost and i feel like red lip always does it for your girl okay the makeup is neutral natural chill vibes i'm gonna put a little bit more of um highlighter on i actually didn't put on any blush today especially since i wanted to keep it very chill and neutral I feel like that blush extra pinkish color on the 
Sheeks just gives makeup, you know? Since I was walking the belt line and I wanted it to be like neutral, natural, you know, no makeup, makeup vibes. A little bit of highlight, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know how it just reflects in the light? <laughs> anyway, y'all, I'm just acting silly. Um, Yeah, this is the look. And we're about to go get dressed. Y'all, who am I? Prada sent me their new fragrances. And who is she <laughs> so we're gonna try one of their new fragrances that they just sent me today in uh pr i literally just got it out of from the front of the house when i got home so let's go put our clothes on and yeah all right y'all so i told you we are gonna wear something that is black and white so y'all know this um snake skin faux snake skin bodysuit it is from J Lux. J Lux label. Um, I've had it for a couple years now. If you follow me and you were OG, you've seen this plenty of times. <laughs> so we're gonna wear that and then I'm gonna wear this um, satin um, skirt, which is from Opali. I'm gonna put this on too. And then I have like this um, jacket trench chill thing that I'm gonna put on too. And it is from Windsor. So I'm gonna throw this on real quick. I'm just off camera. Putting this on real quick. Cause it's 8.07 right now. So I wanna hear him get out of here. So I'm about 40 minutes with no traffic from Pont City Market. And I don't wanna risk like being late, you know? I like to get there and chill for a second. Maybe I'll be able to go in and like have a glass of wine or something. But yeah, this is the bodysuit. Very cute, very classy. I want it to just be very chill tonight but i felt like the red lip was gonna give what it needed to give I need to check the weather because it was sprinkling a little bit when i was on my way home earlier um and if anybody knows me i don't like the rain like i will stay home if it's raining like i'm not the one i do not like being out in the rain i don't want to drive in it like it is just not not my vibe so this is what we're wearing. I have this jacket that I'm gonna wear with it just in case it's a little chilly outside that I can take off when I get inside. Um, you know, just nothing too crazy to enjoy some live music. I think I wanna do the Bottegas with this. And I'm trying to think what bag. More than likely, I might do my um, YSL wallet on chain. I love pulling this out because it's very, um, just more on the dressier side, I feel. Just add some dressiness <laughs> to an outfit. Oh, let's put on my fragrance. I almost forgot. <laughs> so, like I said, Prada did send us our their fragrance. This is Prada Paradox. They sent us two fragrances that are in this bag. So, let me turn this light down so I can see the color of this. There we go. Um, Prada Paradox. So they sent us Prada Paradox Intense and just a regular perfume. So regular perfume and then the intense one. I think I'm gonna go in with the regular, regular perfume. So y'all, if oh boy does not come through for me tonight, I'm just gonna like Google spots around that area that I can go to and just like go to dinner. Um, regardless, pay attention to the captions on the videos because I'm going to let y'all know what happened. But um, we'll see. Why is it so hard to pull out of here? Bruh, don't nobody got time for this. It's fine. I got time, Prada. I appreciate you, sis. Thank God my floor is not hardwood. Because <laughs> that literally just flew across the room. Anyway, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, this is the one we're gonna wear. I'm gonna have to put this back into the package anyway so that I can um, like film a little unboxing vibes. So anyway, this smells pretty good. Hopefully it does well with my pH balance, but you know, it's fine. It's okay. All right, y'all, so these are the vibes. Not much else I'm gonna do. I think I might change my earrings out and put on my um, Bottega dupes real quick. I felt like these would be kind of cute 
with the outfit tonight because it is 8 14 right now the show actually starts at 9 45 so i want to get there around 9 15 to give myself time to get in make sure oh boy got me hooked up for real get in get a little drink or something sit down <laughs> and just kind of wait for the show to start but um anyway y'all i'm gonna montage the rest of this out i love you guys thank you so much for watching this week's vloggy vlog and i will see you guys on new year's eve bye babes